This video will be about using class-based views and mixings. By default, my view functions that handle a user's request handle only get requests, that's requests for reading some information. Requests for writing data, that is post requests and also put, patch and delete requests, my functions can't handle. One of the solutions to handle other HTTP requests is the same like we can do in Flask framework. That's I can use the request object and its method property. And uh, we can do something like this. If request method equals to post, then do something. But this solution is not suitable because the handling of different HTTP methods is not the sole problem I have here. Let's look at the post detail and take detail views again. Post detail and view detail. They are almost identical. We have here only four differences. The first one is a name of a variable, post or tag, but if I rename this variable to obg object, I'll got only three differences. The next one is the post or tag class. We have different models here. Third one, it's a template. And uh, the last one, it's a key in the context dictionary, post or tag. But as you can notice, post or tag key in the context dictionary is just a lower cased class name. So we can say that there is only two main differences. And one can say that here I have a, some code redundancy. It's true and actually my both problems I can solve with the classes. For such tasks Django provides a special class, the view class, that we can use for handling different HTTP requests. So let's import it from from Django use generic import view class. And now I want to wrap my function with classes. I mean post detail function and tag detail function. So let's say it will be post detail that will inherit its properties from view class. And then I'm renaming the post detail function to the get function. I am using the get function, the get method to handle get requests. For handling post requests, I would use the post method. So the get function becomes the method of the post detail class. And the first argument of all methods of all classes is the self, a reference to a certain instance of that class. And now in the urls py file, I have to import import all and I want to use instead of post detail function post detail class and I have to call its as view method and the same thing I want to replicate for tag detail function and it will be tag detail view And here in the URLs py module tag detail as view. Let's save and test it. F5. I have a typo here. Yes, I'm sorry. F5. And we can see that nothing changed. Okay, the first problem is solved. 
The second problem was the code redundancy, and uh, it can be solved with creating a special general class with common for these two classes behavior that we use as the second ancestor for our view classes. Such classes are called mixins. So, and to use mixins, I want to create a new Python module. Let's say it will be utils.py. And here I want to import render function. And I need my modals. From modals, import all. And now let's look at our view classes, post detail and take detail classes, and decide what we can move to a separate class. There are three or four differences. The first one is the name of variable object, then the modal name, HTML template, and the content of the context dictionary. Only these three or four elements always change. And what we usually do with changing data, we are replacing them with variables. So in the utils py module, I am defining a new class. Detail object mixing. And I want to copy the, this class just for reference. So, detail object mixing. The first class variable will be the modal variable that equals to none. And uh, the second one will be the template variable that equals also to none. They are none because I want to override them in my views classes. And uh, my views classes will inherit properties from this mixing. And and I want to use this method here. And now I have to replace all changeable data with my variables. So post becomes self modal, or I can use from Django shortcuts import get object or 404 function. So, and then obg variable equals to, I'm calling the get object or 404 function. The first argument, it will be self model and then Get object or 404 will return an object of a certain modal post or tag, if any. Otherwise, it will raise HTTP 404 exception. It's a obg variable. So here will be self template. And the last one is the key of the context dictionary. So let's open a terminal. Let's import a post class. Import post. I'm sorry. Models. And let's say I have the model variable that equals to the post. All classes has the name variable model to underscore name and to underscore and I got the name of the class. So if I lower it, I'll got the key for my context dictionary. So the key for my context dictionary will be this expression and that's all. Now I have to import this mixing to the views.py module.
and I have to inherit my modules from this class. Detail object mixing and then view. Then here in the post detail I have to override the modal variable that equals to post template variable will be block detail HTML and that's all. I can delete the get method because I have the get method in the detail object mixing and the same for the tag detail view. The modal variable equals to tag and the template variable equals to to this one. I can delete this. Let's test it. F5 I forgot to set the dot here. Dot means the current folder, so I need utils from this current folder. And we can see the name model is not defined. I forget to specify self. I just copy and paste this expression from the terminal and in terminal I didn't use class. I just use this expression and here in the class I have to use the self. Again a 5 and it works. Ok, nothing changed here. So the next video will be about Django forms and creating posts via HTML forms.